Hi guys, welcome back here. Uh, this is another round of my tutorials for Retro Gadgets. I hope this, those tutorials are like, helping you in getting into the game faster. Um, today, as you asked, I'm gonna tell you how to uh, let the video input component work. So I will not turn on this gadget, but it will be something like this one, okay? So getting the video feed from your camera and then displaying it on, on the screens here, okay? So let's get started from scratch. So I'm just turning this down and building a new gadget from scratch. Here I'm just selecting a few board shapes for us. Uh, let me do this one and two. Or I will make it a slightly bigger uh, board shape because I want to add a few features um, after the video. But anyway, let's go and just create something which is not totally ugly. Um, I don't know if the video component will fit here. We'll see. Otherwise, we can just solder it unsolder it, sorry, and then and change the shape. So let's check just at the top of the input door, we will have the video, yeah, it fits. Shift to zoom in if you want to place it in a, I mean, with more precision. Okay, so uh, this is our input and then we just place four screens here. Uh, let's say this should be aligned, should, maybe not, let me check, no, okay, yes, 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 I can call it an alignment, I'm not sure if it is, but anyway, I'm a programmer, so, that's just programmer art, okay, um, this is, it's pretty ugly, I can tell, but it should work. Uh, let's move this here. And as usual, I replace oops, this button because I don't like it. And I want this one here. I will place, could I fit it? Oh, that's nice, here, okay. Now, um, let's say, we want to just add some color here. So grabbing this one, let's make this color here. Okay. I, I as you as I've seen in previous videos, I don't like our standard gray here. So, and then this blue uh, primary and secondary color, but I mean here, or maybe. That's good. Um, well, we don't need that much a part of those, but let me add a few small things like with X, I can change this and grabbing the square nozzle and something like this. No, Ctrl Z, I don't like it. X. X again, X again, and then something like this. Well, still ugly, but anyway, it should work. Then to use the video input here, we need to add to the board a few things. So let's just add a video chip, of course. Well, take the big one here. The video chip, we have screens, we have video chip, we have a camera. I will add a CPU. It's not directly needed for the video stream because the video chips will do all by itself. But anyway, I will add a CPU because I want to add a few things later and it will be needed to do something more than just the video stream. Now, everything is in place. Here I can select my videos and connect them to the video chip. So one, my screens, actually, two, three, and four, connected to the video chip. Then I select my camera, and I set the video chip as a render target for the camera. Okay, this should work. Now I'm going to turn off 
my camera here just wait a second because we I can't use the camera if it's used oops something happened here sorry um, if it's used by OBS so I deactivate the camera okay I probably disappeared from the stream and I'm going to activate again this one so here that's the pixelated version of myself can you see oh I have this cool Pax South t-shirt actually so that's me and that's me here on the screen so let me turn it off and it, it's that simple let me turn it off okay and activate back the camera here so you should see me again now let's do a couple of things more okay just to show you I, how it can work or what you can do and it's still at very early stage uh, the camera input I mean it's a super early stage let me grab some Mm, let's say we're going to grab some input like a, a stick I'll place a stick here and I'm going to place a knob this will be the small yeah I like the small one so I'll place a knob here and a stick here okay um, that's all I need so I'm getting to my multi-tool and that it's time to write some code so as usual I uh, I mean it's better to assign variables like local vid uh, semicolon video chip because vid it will be of type video chip equals gdt dot uh, video chip zero so vid will be our video chip and then uh, local Mm, let stk semicolon s should be stick no of course uh, let me check the exact name of the component I can here it's probably it should be a stick stick okay equals gdt dot uh, oh, it's an analog stick, of course. So it's analog stick equals GDT dot stick zero, and then local knob uh, KNB. It's a knob equals GDT dot knob zero. So I do have reference to my video stick, the video uh, chip, my analog stick, and my knob. Same function update, which is repeated every single time tick. I can write something like this. Uh, let's say local x position. That's a position, which is local x, which is a number equals. Okay, the stick. Uh, SDK the stick works like this um, I can read values like X and Epsilon like X and Epsilon here and X and Epsilon are ranging from minus 100 to plus 100 so I want my SDK dot X uh, divided by let's say 50 so I'm from minus 2 to plus 2 and local uh, Y which is a number equals to stk dot y divided by 50 oops sorry divided by 50 okay that's it so I have x and epsilon now I want to get the value from knob uh, knob goes to minus 102 plus 102 so local I will say r which will be a radius and it's also a number equals is um, k and b k and b dot value I want this value to go from 0 to 50 or something like this so it will be value plus 100 so it will be 0 to 200 now because I just am adding 100 uh, let's well let's say uh, divided by 
2 so it will go from 0 to 100 okay now I have those three variables and I can write video chip draw circle semicolon just remember the semicolons here that's the most important thing so vid uh, draw circle and we will add a vector 2 which is a vector with two coordinates and then x y vector 2 that's the position the radius which is r and the um, color which will be color I will use a color constant that's like color dot no, blue why not blue okay um, this should some way already work it they it will be zero zero the stick here could be zero zero actually uh, that's not good what what I wrote it's not exactly what I want but I will show you now I'm turning down my off my camera again here I will turn this on and I'm here and as you can see there's a circle here okay here it's drawn on top and now I can operate this and move the circle a little bit you can see and change the radius of my circle but I don't want to do this so I'm just turning this off activating my face again here in the stream and let's move those variables outside so I can write here local x uh, which also is a number number local x which is a number equals uh, we will start uh, at video chip dot width divided by two so that this is the width of my um, area of my video area uh, local y which is a number equals video ship dot eight divided by two so I will be right in the middle so I don't need those two variables here anymore because I are global in, in the global scope now so mm, what I can do is x equals x plus there can be there's a shorter form for this but we will use this one which is more easier to read y equal y plus stk.y divided so each single time update each single tick in my loop here I will add my stk dot x or stk dot y divided by 50 so this will mean that we add zero if the stick is not moving or plus two up to plus two if the stick is moving to the right or up to plus mi minus two if the stick is moving to the left and so on for up and down so deactivating my face again here and uh, turning this on okay as you can see we have here the circle which is right in the middle I will just make this circle smaller and move the circle oops I just up and down are swapped so I will stop this one here and of course let's say minus here and then oh sorry I'm today I'm probably too tired so plus here and minus here sorry that I should invert this so up down left right so you can see I can move my button we will just my circle we will just add one one thing here which is another component I grab the some input component and I will this lever here because I, I really like it okay this lever here and this will be here local um, this is switch as SBC I like which is a switch equals GDT dot switch zero 
and now I can do something like this here which is nice um, if svc dot state then so if switch is turned turned on so one of the two states just throw a circle else and and I will copy this one draw as will it will not be draw circle but it will be draw uh, sorry let me draw draw, 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 draw circle draw let's say draw rect or something like this oh or a uh, fill circle fill circle is better same parameters easier so the switch will command if the circle is filled or not okay um well nothing more so i just turn this on i just do something like this turn this on yes, it's, it's filled and i want to cover my pixelated face that's moves a little bit too fast okay i'm still here and okay you can see me anymore so as you can see you can draw on top of what's happening in your camera and you learn how to draw just simple shapes here and this still works like this okay so switching back to my camera here um well that's pretty all for today i'm going to add as usual a small sticker so i'm importing here a sprite let's say this our small rg logo confirm confirm that's the small version of our, our logo so i'm going to print it so print and stick this here just moving uh, components one two and three here let's say here like it well there should be ways to better position those like okay this is here and this should go here mm, yes okay that's better no my CPUs are here and just cover it and take my tweezers and put my RG logo here so that's our cam device I will say you hello by this camera here okay and putting this here and turning this off um, okay hi here so hello from the pixelated myself it's been again a pleasure to record a video to try to help someone who wants to get on board and maybe it's not a programmer and that's it see you next time for another video thank you bye